name's Josh Burt from Action Corrosion. I'm here today to talk about our product Glass Gym, which is a glass and mirror edge sealer. In our previous videos, we talked about uh, the reasons why we do get the seal ring on mirrors. And we went through the testing that we've done through Bureau of Veritas to show in a salt spray chamber test the effectiveness of Glass Gym. Just to recap, bathrooms are a high humidity area. And the primary reasons why you see the seal ring on the edge is because moisture enters that exposed edge and gets under the glass into the backing. The other reason why they deseal that is through uh, chemical. So the cleaning chemicals that you use to clean a mirror um, will also result in blackening on the edge once it gets underneath the glass. Mirrors are manufactured differently to how they used to be manufactured. Um, basically there's a layer of copper under the older mirrors and that tends to uh, provide longevity to the mirror, whereas the modern day mirror doesn't have that layer and tends to fail. That's the information that we've received from installers and glaziers. So what we've got here is a real world test, and this is a brand new mirror that I installed. And within three months, uh, I might add, we didn't put glass gin on there. We just wanted to see um, how widespread the desilvering problem is. Um, so it was not coated, and after three months, you can see here that the bottom edge and the top edge definitely has started desilvering, which is amazing after three months. So now that you've seen the problem with this mirror, but what we're going to do is show you how glass gin in liquid form an aerosol form is used to protect the future mirror from um, desilvering. So glassian has been on the market for four years now, and in that time we haven't had any complaints about failure of the product on mirror or laminated glass. So what we have here is a replacement mirror for my bathroom where the mirror failed, and it's just your standard mirror, it's got a beveled edge on the face. Um, I did mention that you do get uh, desilvering on the edge, but there are instances where you do get the silvering in the middle of the mirror, and that's where the aerosol comes into play. So basically on the back here, you want to achieve a film build of 25 micron, and on the edge, you strive to achieve a build of 50 micron. For mirror manufacturers and commercial uh, applications, you can use a spray gun with a 0.8 millimetre tip and that will give you a good fine mist to do the back of the mirror. It's really important to follow the safety instructions when using the product. We're in an outdoor area here, but we'll still use a mask. It's important that the back of the mirror hasn't got any grease or oil on it. If it does, it needs to be cleaned off uh, with detergent and left to dry before you apply the product. So it's a clear, hard, fast drying product. You should wait half an hour now before the next coat goes on. You can see that I hit that outside edge last because that's where you want to get the uh, thicker film build and you want to seal that back edge where the mirror meets the backing. So one aerosol cam will do 12 square metres for a single coat. So what we recommend is three coats to achieve 25 micron, which means a can finished will do four square metres. So in liquid form, this is the smallest can we've got, it's 250 mil, and it will do 40 lineal metres of edge. And you've got to remember, you're doing the edge of the mirror, but you're also coming over the back, the backing, you want to come over at least 10 mil or one centimetre, all the way along. So two coats will yield you 40 lineal metres. Liquid does come in larger quantities for contractors and for manufacturers of mirror. So we've done our three coats of glass gin in aerosol form to achieve our 25 micron on the back. And each time we've done a, we've done a sweep of the outside edge. But now what we're going to do, we're going to use the liquid just to ensure that we get that, that 50 micron on that edge that we're trying to achieve. Um, you generally can't get that with an aerosol. So what we're going to do is use the liquid with a small brush 
and we are just going to follow the edge. What makes this product a standout is it has awesome adhesion to glass. And when you're talking about laminated glass with an interlayer, this is exactly how you would apply it. You can apply it with a paintbrush or you can get an applicator brush if you want a cleaner finish. But what we're actually doing here is waterproofing the edge so your chemicals and your moisture cannot get between the glass and the backing. So now the process is finished. Uh, we wait two hours after the last coat before we fix it to the wall. So just to recap, to treat the back of the mirror in its entirety, we use the aerosol can, three coats, half an hour between coats to achieve 25 micron. Uh, and each time doing a sweep of that, of that important edge. And then finally we put one coat of the liquid on that edge to achieve that 50 micron. The other option is if you don't want to do the whole back of the mirror or you've got laminated glass, you would only need the liquid and you would just run along that, that exposed edge to waterproof the glass and the interlayer. For more information about Glastion and our other products in our range, please go to www.actioncorrosion.com.au. Also for the testing information in relation to Glastion, the independent testing done through Bio Veritas, that can also be um, downloaded from our website.